Hello, I'm Full Paragon, and this is your guide to re-rolling in Konosuba Fantastic Days for the Don Machi Collab. To start your re-roll, the first thing you're going to do is select Play with Guest Account, which is on the left-hand side of the first screen on the bottom. We'll go here, and you're going to choose Yes. At this point, we want our account unlinked so that we can easily reset it. As it goes through the first bit there, I'm going to tap on the screen and then I am going to real quickly show you what we're aiming for when we re-roll. At the top of the re-roll list is Eyes. She's an incredibly powerful adventurer who personally can clear story mode with relative ease with just a little bit of support from a pocket healer, which you can obtain very easily. Her strong buffs and DPS mean that she's not only excellent at clearing story mode, but she's at the top of the meta for arena, dungeons, EX arena, all around stellar unit. Other great units to re-roll for right now include Aqua, who is part of the Don Machi collab. If you get her as well, she's amazing with high strength buffs for your team, gauge fill, and strong personal DPS, although not on the quite the level that Eyes is. The permanent unit who you like to see is Celo, specifically Axel Heart Celo or El Celo. She's a lightning healer with powerful buffs, healing, and the ability to deal not in substantial personal damage who can really help a team clear story mode, and she's very viable in a number of other game modes, especially Arena. All right. We're going to go back and take a look at how to reroll. Aqua will come here and do a spiel, but we're just going to skip through this to try and go through as quickly as possible. We'll also skip the battle tutorial. Next up is a movie. We're going to skip this as well. All right. Now I have to roll on the permanent banner. I can't get eyes here. So while I do hope I get something good, it's not the end of the world if I just get duds here. We still have several more opportunities to roll. Looks like I did get a four-star unit. We're just going to skip through. Ah, I got a quite bad four-star unit. Unfortunately, Aunts in Darkness is not very good at all in any game mode, really. So we'll skip through here. Unfortunately, it does take a little while as each character card and character that you unlock shows up briefly. But we're finally through this part. All right, here's what makes rerolling right now really great. I'm going to get some free stuff after I put in my character name. I'm just going to put a single letter as I can change this later. And right now it doesn't matter. Here's that free stuff. First, I get 1,000 quarts. Then I get 3,000 more quarts, which is enough for a full summon. And I get a free ticket. We're not going to connect our account just yet. I'll show you how to do that later from the menu screen once you've gotten a reroll that you really want to keep. Now, before you go to rerolling, close out this and go to your gifts. Inside the gifts, you'll find quite a large amount of quartz as well as a four-star guaranteed ticket. We're going to accept all this. This will give us more than enough quartz to get a good start. Then we'll go to recruit. I'll show you what banners are currently active and which ones you want to use. This strong start recruit requires paid quartz, so it's not relevant to us right now. A video will play when you get to the Don Machi recruit. Just go ahead and skip it for now. You can come back and watch it later if you really want to or not. It does have some cute interactions, but it's not an important. All right, we are going to go into the Don Machi recruit. This is the one that has limited units like eyes that we really want to see. I have enough for three rolls. I'm not going to do all of them right now because it's a bit tedious. All right, I got junk there. You do get those cheesy potatoes, which are used to raise affinity. Basically increases your character stats, levels up their first super. It's a progression gate that takes quite a while to fully unlock, although now you can get quite a bit of affinity for Eyes and Bell, especially as they get bonus affinity from those cheesy potato snacks. Okay, again, you can keep rerolling. I'm not going to do it here. I just want to show you the other banners real quickly, and then I'll show you how to reset. 
All right, this is the free reroll. You can use this ticket. I will note, this banner does not have boosted rates for the Don Machi characters. You can get several more free tickets. Again, I'm not gonna use it right now. If you go to the recruit list, the other one you can get is this four star guaranteed ticket, which will give you a four star character guaranteed. It's only permanent units. You can't get eyes, Don Machi Aqua or Don Machi Darkness from this. This premium recruit is the first one you did. Never roll on this one. It takes too long to get to pity to get anything worthwhile, and you can't get the more valuable limited units from it. This special set recruit requires paid quartz, as does that strong start recruit. The strong start recruit can be worth it, although I would say this one is more so as it's reduced in price. But you have to spend money, and if you're re-rolling, you're not spending money yet. All right, to reset my account, I'm gonna go to the menu. Then I click on profile, and I click this button, remove account. You then need to type into the box, reset account. Once you have done that, click okay and it will give you a prompt. Do you really want to do it? Yes, we've done that. And it'll take us back to the title screen and we can once more re-roll again. You can do this as many times as you want, as long as you haven't linked your account. The permanent units that you see here are all the ones you can get from the initial recruit, except for the limited units. And they also appear on the Don Machi recruits. If you get characters in the A, S, or even B tier, they're pretty good and can help you progress. But anyone in the C or D tier are never good. You'll notice that Megamine is in the B tier. This is because Megamine is a character who, when she uses her super, automatically faints. This isn't the best thing when you are first going through story mode. And as a new player, what you really want to do is get through the main campaign in the story mode as quickly as possible to get as many rewards as you can. And because it's important to unlock other aspects of progression as well as level up your account. Since Megamine is very poor at that, she's rated down in the B tier. But if you get her with a character like Eyes or Don Machi Aqua, she can be useful not for clearing story mode, but later on when your count has matured. Other characters to watch out for would be the ones in the A tier. I am missing Casino Iris from this picture now that I look up at it, but she would go along with this Iris right here. She's in solid A tier unit who can do quite well. The characters in the S tier are very powerful and can carry teams on their own, as well as being pretty close to optimal in Arena. Union is a powerful mage, and so is Aru. They don't play nicely with Eyes or Don Machi Aqua, as those are physical units. Mages in physical units utilize physical attack buffs or magic attack buffs, as well as a defense down on the boss that boosts either magic or physical damage. Because of that, it's usually not best to build a mixed team, although if you're doing story mode, just use the strongest characters you have. That's really only relevant in Arena. All right, we're gonna skip through this again. And this time, I will show you how to link your account. Unfortunately, I do have to go through all of this again. Do a quick pull. Hopefully, I won't just get an Ansem Darkness this time. Ah, I got Aru, who's an S-tier unit. If you can get her along with Eyes, even though they don't play nicely together, it's still really good for clearing story mode. The two of them together will get you through it. No problem if you level them up and give them some leveled up subs. Everybody does their introduction, and then I'll see the costumes that I unlocked, which I believe I only unlocked. Uh, Megamine's winter outfit here. All right. New friends. I thought it was Union who cared about new friends. I suppose Aqua likes having followers. She's a bit narcissistic, but that's okay. We love her anyway. All right. I won't do connect account on this screen because you guys need to know how to get there from menu. Now, assuming I got eyes i'm all done with my re-rolling i'm happy with the characters i got i'm gonna go to the menu and then you click this data transfer button 
At this point, it'll let you connect your account. You can choose whether you want to use Facebook, Google, Apple, or a Nexon ID. And once you've done that, you're done. The account is now yours to keep, and you can log into it using that information from any device. I hope that this information has been helpful for you, and you can look forward to more guides in Konosuba Fantastic Days on this channel coming soon.